Hey there, what's up everybody, Andrew here. And today I'll show you how you can achieve the fantastic double exposure effect very easily in Photoshop. Well, in the days of film camera, double exposure effect was achieved by taking a photo and then without progressing the film, again exposing the film to another image. But today in the world of digital stuffs and modern photo editing softwares, we can very easily achieve the effect in applications like Photoshop. And also we can precisely control different areas and we can control the way we want our final composition to look. So before we start, there are various ways to apply the double exposure effect and each and every photo needs a different treatment. But today I'll start with this image and I'll show you the basic foundation work that you need to achieve a basic double exposure effect. So we're in Photoshop and this is the subject image. You just need to right click on the layer and duplicate it. Let's rename it as overlay. And change its blending mode to lighten. You won't see any difference here, but just as we pop in our second image, you'll see the magic. Make sure you're selecting the background layer and let's take our second image and we'll pop it here so that it stays within the two layers and you see we have our double exposure effect. Let's resize our image and click this tick mark to commit the changes and we have it. It's that simple to achieve the double exposure effect. So just as I said, different images need different treatment. I'll explain it a bit over here what I try to mean by that. So it's like just when you change your blending mode to lighten on this overlay layer, all that is lighter in color than the underlying layer will show through. So this is normal and this is lighten. You can also experiment with the screen blending mode and you might find a different effect and you might also prefer that effect to the lighten mode but I think it works best with the lighten mode altogether. And one thing to note here is that if the surrounding areas of your subject is white in color that works really well. Otherwise the underlying layer will show through this area and you might need to mask it out. Okay, so let's pop in some different images and see the different variations that we can achieve with this. Let's take this image and pop it right here and we have it. Well, so over here you can see that the face is now gone because the underlying layer has lighter pixels in this region than the face. So we can easily fix this one by just selecting this underlying layer and creating a layer mask by clicking this icon and painting with black over here to hide parts of this underlying layer. But just before that we'll hide our first example and now with the layer mask selected make sure you are selecting the layer mask let me change the thumbnail size so that you can see it a bit more clearly and take a soft round brush and then increase the hardness to around 50 percent and decrease the opacity to around 35 and also decrease the flow to around 30. now with color black Start painting on the area where you want your overlay layer to show through. I want the face to show through a bit, so I'll just paint over the face. Maybe we'll decrease the opacity a bit more. And also if you want to undo what you are doing, you can simply select color white. As you know, with layer masks, if you paint with black, it hides and if you paint with white, it shows. So if you want to again show the underlying layer, you can simply paint with white to show it. And this is how you can control different areas of the overlay layer that you want to show on top of this underlying layer. Okay, I'll hide this one and I'll show you another example. I'll select this image and pop it right here and adjust it. Just as you saw, it's also hiding the face because here the sky is really bright than the face so with the lighting blending mode the overlay layer cannot show parts of the face that is lying just over the sky so what you can do over here is you can again create a layer mask in this underlying layer and just like before paint with black to reveal parts of the face just like this or you can do another cool trick i'll just remove this layer mask i'll just right click on top of it and select delete layer mask what you can do is you can simply drag this or move or transform this underlying layer and place the dark areas like this 
just under the face so that it shows through. What I'll do is I'll select the rectangular marquee tool from here, right click on the layer, make sure your underlying layer is selected and select free transform. And then I log in, right click and select rotate by 180 degrees. Now I can drag it and place it the way I want it to look and commit the changes. And over here you have a very beautiful, surreal, upside down image of the city as a double exposure effect to our subject. Isn't this one cool? So now again you can create a layer mask if you want to fine tune different areas. Maybe I'll make the face show through here. So I'll just paint with black on the layer mask to hide parts of the city under the face. And here we have it. A beautiful double exposure effect. So this is how you can very easily, just in a matter of few seconds, create a double exposure effect from two photos in Photoshop. There are various other ways to create it and get very creative with double exposure effect. Maybe in some of my future videos, I'll definitely cover those topics. So if you like this video and if you'd like to see more cool effects like this one, please subscribe to my channel and please like and comment on this video to help grow my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay creative.